proximity with the president had to have those tests. There were obviously large events, big gatherings on the South Lawn. Not every individual who would gather for that would need to. Okay, hold on. I'm getting in the call right now, chat. Hold up. Hurricane, you go to the man. There's a war, you go to the men. So men who have not been through trauma are not very good at being Yo. men because they're not but capable see, of dealing with trauma. Wait, so, pause right there, though, Andrew, because you, you said when you go to war, you go to the men. But the only reason you have a war is because of men and their lack of awareness about their own feelings. Oh, That's why right. war exists in the you're first saying, place. So you're saying if you had more women leaders, we wouldn't even have war. Okay, so if we had more women leaders, LGBT we wouldn't like even have war. Men literally are responsible for war by a okay. lack of emotional awareness. That's how it starts. Interesting. So let's, uh, let's, make, let's make this the final point before we move on. You uh -huh. just said that if all the leaders were women, we wouldn't even have war. I, I said if we had more women leaders, yes, there would okay. be less war. The fact that you hate your own gender so much is quite amazing to me. But I don't me hate my own gender. See, see, why do you... Why do you Let me tell you why you're No, wrong. no, no, no. Let no, you don't you get to wrong. gaslight me and tell me I hate my own gender just because I'm displaying a, 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 a version of manhood that you're uncomfortable looking at. Don't, right? Don't, you, don't get to, you don't get to say I hate my gender and that I'm weak because I present a version of manhood that has struggled just like you, that has conquered just like you, but is out, lives outside the idealized patriarchy that was sold to me. You don't get to gaslight me because you're uncomfortable. Cool. You, love man man. That I I... you love men. You love men. Cool. The point I'm making is you're saying that the world wouldn't have a world. Dude, you leader. are backed up against the wall. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, chill, 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 chill. Let yeah, T have let his final statement. Right. Let T have his final statement, then we're going to wrap this up and get someone else in. Right. Yo, no, I'm, I'm in here right now. I just got to fix my camera. One second. Right. Yeah, you're chilling. Just try to fix it. Oh, Hassan, do a let's go, man. Do I appreciate a poll, you. Guys. I'm interested in seeing what the chat thinks. The reason you're totally wrong saying that the world would have no, less war if there was no female leaders is because if you actually ask anybody who's been in the corporate world for long enough, the companies that have the most arguments, the most difficult corporate structures to deal with, in fact, even if you ask most women, they say, I don't like having a woman boss. I'd rather work for a man. When you have a whole bunch of women in charge, it's nothing but a fucking bitch fest and it's a shit show. Every single fucking person who's ever worked in corporate knows that. Every single person who's ever worked in the world knows that. That women actually, as beautiful as they are and they're good at lots of different things, they would perhaps not perhaps, they would prefer to work for a male boss because it's a stronger, more clear leadership structure. Having a bunch of women in charge of countries is not going to make a fucking peaceful world. And the fact you believe that shows your entire mental is fucked. I'd like yeah. to actually put a poll in the chat see, and let's see who dude, agrees with you, who agrees will, with me. Why will we uh, take a poll in the me. chat? Of course, of course, team tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, with tell your hyper-idealized manhood. Like, right. they need to cling to that. Okay, right, do, you guys, do, you guys want me to, do you guys want me to step in on this conversation? Or? Let's go. Gonna, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do no two versus one bullshit. I'm like, we're gonna wrap it up with Tommy, and then you guys can go at it. <laughs> no two it. versus yeah. one bullshit. Yeah, you mean like the Aiden Ross stream when? Uh, <laughs> anyway, I when I XQC was, was getting fucking it. triple teamed. All right. I didn't. I didn't want to. Right, I'm, 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 I'm just. I'm just a messenger. Let's not hate. No, but Tommy, this was. They, they, thank you for coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for coming on. We. I hope you have a safe flight, and I hope you, you know, enjoyed your time here. Dude, I did. I did. Andrew, take care, brother. Hassan, I just want to say props to you, boss. I appreciate you, man, putting the word out there. Thank you, guys. Good to talk, bro. Have, have a good day. Right, right. Appreciate you coming on, Tommy. Have a good one, man. Cheers. Thank you. Wow, <clears throat> that, that was, was uh, quite the conversation. How do you feel about my guy, Tommy? I uh, Sorry, are you asking me? or the, yeah, 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 yeah. Andrew. On my way to nine. Uh, he's. I don't know him side. personally. I have nothing against him personally. His. He lives in. The, he's a new age thinker. He lives in the new think. The idea that the way the world runs and has always run is a bad thing, and that if we change everything from the ground up, it's somehow going to become a magically better place. Obviously, he has no proof or any references for his way of like his way of hassle, thinking hassle. because it's never been tested before. It's an untested theory. I think that him for him to come along and say such blanket statements that if we changed all the world leaders to women, there wouldn't be war is, is inane and asinine. I think for him to say that a man who's physically strong can't be mentally strong is also stupid. But I also understand why he's saying the ideas he's saying because he has a natural insecurity based on the fact that he's not a physical Less specimen of man. And the way he gets around it is to pretend that that's not important, which is fine. Lots of people do it, right? Stupid people saying being smart is not important. Poor people saying being rich is not important. It's a common defense mechanism that everybody does, and I completely understand it. However, most people with a basic grasp of economics and the way societies work would look at a society and say, you know what? A society with brave, strong men who are full of honor and duty is actually a better society than men who walk around saying, I have no duty to protect anybody or protect anything, and I can just sit around and cry all day. And, and, we're, and this theory is being tested in real time, right? America's quickly turning into the ladder, and we can see crime rates going through the roof. We can see all the fucking school shooting and all this stupid shit that's happening because men have no emotional control anymore.
And that's what's going to happen. Please it's go society is going to degrade. Me. And the countries where men still stick to their honor and their, their age-old expected ways of, of acting, are they going to be a safer societies overall? So time will prove me right. But I have nothing against a guy. He's, he's fine. I think uh, Andrew and the previous person that was on the call are just two sides of the same coin. Uh, they're both wrong. And they're both kind of right in different ways. But thinking that this has anything to do with gender is silly. All right? It has nothing to do with gender. Women can be just as oppressive and as brutal as men can be. Ultimately, Agreed. it has everything to do with capitalism. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the gender. Has slam, has slam, has slam, the assumption has slam, that women are going to be like hysterical slam, slam, across slam, the board, slam, that slam, kind of generalization, slam, slam. is just incorrect. And that's why, Andrew, I've seen some of your work uh, as you're doing the rounds on Twitch here. And uh, a lot of the things that you said that you've been called out on, specifically in regards to like women driving, I I as a matter of fact, are just generally untrue. There's no empirical evidence to back up those claims, which is why you resort to anecdotes quite frequently and say things like, oh, well, it's just common sense, right? But it's not technically common sense. It's just cool. your That's personal fine. opinion. Completely. It's my uh, personal opinion uh, based on my personal biases of my life experience. Now, yeah. when I say these, well, yeah, exactly. And when I say these things, X amount of people agree with me and X amount of people disagree with me. That's fine. And that's the same of nearly any statement in the world. Okay, I, but can say the world is, I can say the world is round and there'll be a percentage of people who disagree with me. That's totally and utterly fine. I come on here and talk about my own personal experiences and my experience is men are better uh, drivers than women. Again, I'm not saying there's no good female also. drivers. I'm not saying a female can't. No, 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 no. You're I'm misunderstanding what I'm saying. There is a truth. And then there is your own personal experiences backed oh, no, by anecdotes, a, right? Yeah, there's, or there's your own truth. personal opinion backed by anecdotes from your own personal experiences. Now, your own personal experiences are oftentimes going to be incorrect and, and not close to the reality. That's why there's an entire field of statistical analysis. That's why we do empirical. Uh, that's why we rely on empirical evidence when we're making decisions. Why? Because we Let's all go, carry a bunch of Brando. personal biases. And when we analyze situations, we do not have enough scope to grasp the entirety of the situation. We, do, we cannot comprehend it with our human brains. Bro, listen, Which I Which is why it. when it comes to women driving, it's a funny point because Drop the truth is different. The truth is the exact opposite. Woman well, face no, no, listen. First things first, there's lies, there's damn lies, and there's statistics. I'm sure you've heard that from Mark Twain. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you're, mm -hmm. you're deriving. You're, you can you're deriving massage, your, yeah, you can massage numbers, deriving, but. You can derive, you're deriving your truth from an internet study. That's fine. You can derive your truth from an internet study on a bunch of different things. The truth of life is the truth that you experience as an individual. That is the only truth that we all live within. You live within your truths. I live within my truths because these are the truths I've experienced as an individual. If you, certain things happen to you over and over and over and over and over again, but the truth on the internet says it's not true, that doesn't mean that your experiences are any less real. So if you come here and say the internet has. says X, especially no, your experiences after can be real. You could be a statistical anomaly, as a matter of fact. You can be one of those people, but more more often than not, more often than that, I want to talk to you because I keep letting you talk, and you're finishing your point, and I'm trying to talk. So okay, go ahead. I'm I'm going to the the fact that you're going on the internet, finding some study and saying that this is the truth, especially after the age of COVID and all the fucking truth we were told with that garbage. You want to sit here and say, oh, the internet said X. I'm sure the internet did. I'm talking about my personal experiences, and some people agree with me, and some people do not. That is perfectly fine. Don't give a fuck if people agree with me or otherwise. People are listening to me, and they're either agreeing with me or not. I know, but you're still wrong, and that's the problem. Uh, I disagree with you. Do you want to be right, or do you want to keep speaking into a hug box where people agree with you? And Prove then, to me you know, wrong. Well, if you just completely devalue empirical evidence, actuarial sciences, okay, the Thanks. entirety of the insurance industry that relies on making these sorts of calculations to ensure that these quotes are as profitable as possible, which ends up uh, charging men higher rates than women is a statistical likelihood that men are more dangerous drivers than women across the board and get into more car accidents across the board. If you're going to look at all of that and say, it doesn't matter because that does not correspond to my own personal, uh, my own personal experiences, then you're silly. You're being silly. You're being a silly person. If everyone thought like you did, right? We would have no scientific achievements on this planet. We would still be living inside of fucking caves. And now, as much as I love Liver King personally, I don't think that uh, that would be a good planet to live on. I'm pretty happy for, I don't know, all the medical achievements, all the scientific achievements that we have reached. And at the heart of all of that, all of those accomplishments lies Five months an past. understanding of 
arriving at the truth through empirical evidence. Are you done? Yeah. Cool. In my personal experiences, all of the car crashes I've been involved in, all the times my car was hit, and all the negative experience I've had He's on the road, out like women Spencer. were at fault. That is Now, you can sit here and say the insurance claims say that. I never said the insurance claims don't say that. I'm saying that I am not comfortable with women driving because of my personal experience. Those are my personal experiences. You can drag up all the empirical evidence in the world you want to try and drag up. Anyone with a brain knows how that aids the world agendas anyway. I don't want to go too political on a stream that's going to get taken down. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not saying that I can't find a female race car driver. I'm not saying that. That's all not what I'm saying either. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about like uh, statistical anomalies. I'm, I'm straight up talking about the overwhelming amount of evidence that suggests that women are more problems. careful drivers than men. Okay. And therefore better drivers than men. Now you keep resorting back to uh, your personal anecdotes. You under, let, so let me walk this, let me walk you through this, right? Brother, do you I, agree? I, do you agree that human beings have biases? Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Okay, okay. I but but, but I hey, I respected your time. Do you want to answer yeah. my question? Do you believe that human beings have biases? Oh, absolutely. We're all biased. Okay. Completely. Do you biased. think that those biases might cloud your judgment? It's not about clouding judgment. Not just your personal cloud, or, not just your own personal judgment. Do you I think do our biases streamer. might cloud our personal judgment? I think every single person on earth is biased and lives within a biased absolutely. reality. Absolutely. That's absolutely true. Okay. So if you, if you agree with me on both of those accounts, you understand that your anecdotes, your own personal accumulation of information is going to be clouded by your own personal biases. So you're not going to be able to assess the information adequately in the same way that empirical evidence would. This is precisely why we look at data rather than make arguments around our... Wait, let me finish. Come on. I understand what you're saying. This is, you're just, but this is precisely why we do that. We went over the same point like five times here. Everyone's saying kick you. You're long, long in the point. You're saying that the empirical evidence is saying X, so it doesn't matter what my personal experience is. That's fine. My point is, let me change it. Let's say that the empirical evidence says that a pit bull is more likely to bite you than a Dalmatian. But in your life experience, every time you went near a Dalmatian, it bit you and a pit bull never did. Are you going to go up to a Dalmatian still completely and go, oh, it's fine, completely unbiased because the empirical evidence says X when you're covered in scars? No, you're going to say, Dalmatians bite me for some reason, and I'm not comfortable around Dalmatians. That's called human nature. Okay. So I'm telling you my personal experiences, and I don't care. You, I understand your point. Empirical evidence Maybe says X. Women in this country can do X. I completely mom. get that. For secondly, okay. it's also country by country because you're only talking about America because you're American. And you don't see outside of the world. That's fine. I'm, I'm Turkish, well, actually. That, I grew up in that's Turkey. The that's um, not the point. That's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is I'm uncomfortable with a woman driving. And if you actually ask most women, if it gets late at night or it starts getting dark or it starts raining Brian heavily Rutledge's or the going. parking gets difficult, they usually ask the man to drive themselves. I know many women who do that. They're not <laughs> offended by my assumption. I know loads of women who go, oh, I don't want to park. You park it. Loads. There's not a bad thing about it. Who gives a shit, right? It's not even a big deal. You've come on here deciding you really want to stick up for the chicks and maybe, you know, one of them will drive over to your house. It's cool. We've got better things I don't to think talk I, about. I, look, look, let's, let's be let's real. I don't think I need to be a, a male feminist to be able to attract women, okay? However, I, I having said that, are. having said that, that was a funny implication. Having said that, you are failing to recognize what I am trying to say. I walked I you through these steps slowly but surely. It, the, the thing is, the Dalmatian example that you gave is great. It's Why true. is it great? Because you are creating now a hypothetical scenario in which you want your opponent to concede. I can do the exact same thing and say, well, in my personal experience, Dalmatians never bite or pit bulls never bite, whichever one you thought was the more aggressive breed, right? In my personal experience... What if in a million times that I have bred pit bulls or been around pit bulls, not a single one of them has ever been aggressive? We will never be able to arrive at oh, a meaningful solution or a resolution to this conversation you, if we're both operating on personal asking. anecdotes and hypotheticals. That is not how you can conduct an appropriate debate. Good. So now you're saying the thing I just said. I have my own biases, my personal experiences, and I say them. Some people disagree, and some people agree, I and I don't 22. care. You yes. now come along. And but I you're still wrong, though, because I'm not operating no, no, no. on biases no, when no. I talk about women driving. I'm talking no, about the empirical you? evidence. I might have That's personally right. thought women are worse at driving than men as well. But once you arrive at, uh, once you look at the evidence and you realize that uh, said evidence suggests something else, 
you're yeah. probably not going to continue believing the prior thing that you believed, right? Very yeah. weird. We've, let, we've went over the same point like five times. Yeah. And no, I, no, think no, we're just I know, but it's it. just it's just weird because okay. I can't like I, I can't perfect. break through uh, Andrew's. Oh, I, understand. Uh, I understand your point. You're saying that even if I thought here. We're, we're losing the girl. No, no, exactly. I won't talk That's to her. Fine. He's saying yeah, even, if I, even if I thought women were worse drivers, I've seen empirical evidence, and I'm so smart that I ignore my own eyes and ears and believe what the internet tells me. That's what he's That's coming not along what I'm saying. asking you to do, my I'm friend. Sure I'm sure you're double vaccinated. It all makes sense to me now. You believe what you're told to believe. You don't believe your own <laughs> eyes. You don't believe your own ears. And that's what you're going to sit here and talk about empirical evidence that you found on Google. Cool. If you believe everything that's on Google, that is your prerogative, my friend. And if you think that makes you sound smart in the modern world after the three years you've just been through to say that I read a piece of paper that tells me to believe X, so I believe X, and I ignore my own personal experiences. And you think I'm that not makes you asking sound you to ignore your own personal experiences. Be, I'm simply asking you to look at the data. So let's change the Brain subject because you've just proven your point. Okay. Andrew, do you believe, well, I didn't, I didn't, uh, you didn't really prove anything, but it's cool. Uh, do you believe the earth is flat or do you believe the earth is, is spherical round? Two years. Aldi has, has right. his headphones on. Yeah, oh, he took his uh, headphones off? He gets very stressed sometimes and, you know. Yeah, it yeah, it's cool. It's important. You know, sometimes you can't take the heat. Sometimes you can't take the heat. So you got to get out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, Andrew, do you believe the Earth is flat or round, spherical, globe? Round. What do you believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother, and I, I, I it looks flat. It feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why do you uh, believe the Earth is round? Because I have personal experience that would prove to me that the Earth is round. Oh, you have personal experience. What, what happened? Fine. Did you go up to the fucking moon? Is well, that how you figured correct. it out? Exactly. I flew up into space and I looked down on Earth. <laughs> And yeah. I saw a big circle. That's crazy. Okay. We, you don't have to. Hey, listen. You don't have to concede on that point. But I think you and I both understand the importance of scientific, uh, the importance of empirical evidence in that one, right? Or, or you know, science. I saw there, and I thought, wow, this guy. Wow. Okay, he's going to ruin the stream. We had a hot chick. Now oh, you're did here. You, is that oh. what you thought? Just, just, just chill out. Like, I, I look, don't wait, so what's up? Is it, is it a little bit more difficult when I'm not like, uh, the traditional, like SJW looking person? Is that why it, it, it feels like the, the stream is a little bit more ruined? No, it's not difficult as a professional. I'll tell you the conversation we just had. Yeah. You, uh, dude, you've been kicked in the face and stuff. Like I'm sure you can handle little old me. Exactly. So I'll tell you as a professional, the conversation we just had, I said, I am biased and I don't believe women can drive. That's my personal experience. I don't care if anyone agrees. Oh. You came along and said, you can't, don't interrupt me. You came along and said, <laughs> no, that's not true because of the evidence. I came and said, I don't care about the evidence, my personal experience. You said, I also have personal experiences and we're all biased. I agreed. Then you said, even if I had personal experiences that said X, I would ignore them because the internet told me to believe Y. I believe what I am told. That's not what I said. I said that over. regardless of my own personal biases that i might have evidence is still more important than my personal biases when you guys are all talking at once you and, it's boring, it. and you've lost and it's boring so let's just oh. move on to the next subject is that is, one is that is that what happens you just say i'm boring and i lost and then you win you is did. that what it is do a poll do a poll in the chat and if you want then we'll continue to talk it but i'm sure you've lost and it's boring okay. and it's do you, do you want me to leave the conversation that desperately andrew it seems like you're running away a little bit oh, we're just going in a never-ending circle like, we've, okay we've yeah we can move on from that we can move on from the the <laughs> the importance of science and and it's andrew's cool. personal biases andrew can you tell me a little bit about uh the hustlers university whatever that is not in a promotional capacity i know that like you're doing the rounds on twitch and i know that that's probably giving you a big boost but i want to understand you know because you are a businessman i want to understand how you generate revenue uh is it okay to get this information for Sub free or do i have to pay 50 dollars and then maybe get an affiliate link and get other people to also join so I can make a 10% cut off of them also joining Hustlers University. You can find everything on the website and you can join if you want more information. That's fine. So you don't want to, you don't want to share this information for free right now. You don't want to educate me on that. I don't want to sit here and spend the next hour. You trying to accuse what? me of some bullshit. I'm not, it's, it's I'm not, I'm, I'm here to learn. Andrew, you are a brilliant yeah, mind. Sure maybe a little rattled, well. maybe a little rattled from uh, the, the numerous concussions, but brilliant nonetheless. So I want to hear more about your business strategy, if possible. It's actually quite interesting that people who are too scared to get in the ring try and make fun of people who have bravery to try and make fun of. No, them. I so, do oh, think it's very brave. brave. I do think okay. I do think it's very cool. brave. Oh, all right. So let's let's not let's not let's not detract the bravery of men who do things you're afraid to do. That's the first thing. The no, no, no. Thing, you you are absolutely yeah. incredibly brave. You still might okay. have CTE, but you are incredibly brave. I I, I appreciate yeah. it. I mean, whatever. It's fine. 
Uh, cool. The point I'm trying to make is I know you want to sit here and talk about hate, hate you and try and break it down and you've prepared a bunch of notes, etc. Et I have no notes whatsoever. I'm a dumbass. I don't know anything I'm talking about. I'm simply here to learn from you. No. Can we stop with the sarcastic shit and just have an actual No, I'm literally, but that's the truth. Bro, you're being so sarcastic, though. Like, why are you being so sarcastic? Like, I'm not. I'm literally. Bro, you're oh, just come like on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. I'm asking questions. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. Like, listen. Hassan, please. It's pretty clear that I was the better Hassan. So. Yeah, that's agreed. I agree with that one. If, that's for if sure. you could just get out the call, maybe it would fix the stream. Uh -huh. I think so. It's would boring, you guys, man. if you guys would like me to leave the call, I can do that. I don't want to hey, be, I, I don't gotta, want to be rude. I got to get back to work. I, I, I do not want to be rude, boys. Uh, you know, this is your stream. Uh, Andrew, uh, I'd love to talk to you in more detail if you'd like to. I, I hope that one day you can uh, educate me on your, your revenue strategies. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it does look a little bad though. If you're like, if you feel as though I should leave the call because you feel like I'm overpowering oh, you a little bit. You should stay on the call, but I think you should be more socially aware. I am. Well, is oh, no, that a bad no, question? Do you oh, not educate no. thousands if of you, young men you, about your business you, strategies? I want to know more. Brown, Dad. Okay. I want you to be more socially aware and understand that since you've joined the stream, everyone's begging for you to leave. The vibe's down. It's boring. It's, it's late at night for me. I came here to have fun. You're being boring. No one thinks you're cool. No one thinks you're intelligent. No one thinks you're funny. I, I don't think I'm cool or intelligent. Point. I just have questions and you're not answering them for some reason. No, Why are we answer. derailing? I don't have to answer your questions. You're not the police. I don't have to answer you. No, anything. no, no, not at all. No, I am not the UK police nor the Romanian one. I'm simply yeah. asking you questions about your business strategy, which answer. you which you don't literally answer. educate people on. I just want to know how cool. you fucking uh, how you do growth and revenue. I, why can't I be a hustler? I want to be a hustler like, like you. Yanya. I want to be a top G, a top bloke, cool. a proper bloke. Cool. Right. You can find out more on the website. I would like the stream to get fun again. If you want to discuss this. You don't think your it, educational content is fun for people to consume? I think everyone's saying kick him. Read the chat. Have you guys read the chat on your stream? <laughs> you, want to, you want me to You want me to leave that bad? I, I'll. If you want read me to leave that bad, I'll leave. You're, you're just being, I, I mean, listen, I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm just a messenger, but you're just kind of like being sarcastic. Making I'm not, I'm literally not. I circles. promise. I swear to Allah that, that I want to know. Just saying wasn't sarcastic. Don't even, you can't even convince me. None of, that none of what sarcastic. I have mentioned is sarcastic. I truly so would like to know more. Wasn't 85% kick. 85%. No one thinks you're funny or interesting or witty. Your, your little comebacks, no one's interested in them. You haven't won anything. It's okay. It's okay. Program. Andrew, if you want, we can have a we can have a conversation again. We can have a conversation again in the future if you'd like. If you if you're brave enough, I guess. Hate you have hate you has an affiliate program for some people if they want to affiliate, like everything else in the world. We have over a hundred thousand students making more than they invest each month. If they didn't make more than they invest, they wouldn't uh -huh. sign up. One of the most successful online educational platforms in history. Is it, is it, are join. there multiple layers? You can learn how to make some money yourself if you want to join and have more information. It's all on corporatetech.com. You can find out yourself. If you're too cheap to pay $50, then you're a brokey. Nobody gives a shit what you think anyway. You've ruined the stream. Everyone wants you out of it. So either change tune and get with the program and be fun or keep sitting here and talking sarcastic and really slowly and repeating yourself and talking about how you only believe what you see on the internet because no one really gives a fuck and it's boring. So let's move on to something fun. Let's get the tempo up. I've just told you about hate you. We do have an affiliate program. You can find out more on Cobra yeah. what it, else do you No, want it, it is. So, okay. So it is a multi-level marketing scheme. Got it. I just wanted to figure out if it was a truly a pyramid scheme. It would be inappropriate of me to assume that it's a pyramid scheme without having you explain it uh, in such terms. But thank you. All right. Whatever, whatever you guys want to talk about, I'm, I'm game. You're welcome to affiliate anytime you like, friend. There's no problem. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's move on because this dude is he's lame, my friends. Let's All get right, this. Yeah, Hassan, I, I appreciate you coming on. We're gonna bring in another guest though. All right, peace, boys. Hassan, Have fun. Andrew, I'm always on. open to talk to you, my friend.